snowing out here? Like, itty bitty little snowflake daggers in your eyes. Ah! Ah! Jeff and I were talking last night on one of our regular calls. We have a few calls checking in about work, life, how things are going with the app, development, all of that. But one of the things that keeps coming up, thanks to coaching and I think just life in general, is this idea of purpose. We've had no shortage of existential crisis the last few months, and while we're at different points in the process, it definitely circles back around a lot, especially when it comes to just what are we even doing with our lives? What are we here for? What is our purpose? We've definitely bought in wholesale to the idea that the clearer your goals can be, the more you really know what you want for your life the better directed it'll be. The more you know how to say no to some things and yes to what will get you closer to what it is you want, but what happens when you don't know what it is you want? When you don't feel aligned to something that resonates with what you would want for a bigger, brighter future, for whatever it is that might look like. And as we're talking about it, I think we've come around to some helpful ways of looking at it where there are big things that we want for the future that don't have to be that specific and in the vagary of it can still guide our actions today. And that's ultimately the trick, is wanting to find specific actions that we can take today and every day moving forward that are gonna get us closer to that hopeful eventual future that we want for ourselves. And speaking of specific steps, it is cold out here. There are specific steps that could be taken to warm us up, like exercise and coffee. And snuggles, of course. Well, I'm already out here freezing, so I might as well finish my thought. Or start my thought. Where are we in this video? I don't even know. It's too cold to think. Working out is a really good example, I think, of putting in an effort in a direction that you know you want to go, despite the fact that you may not have a set goal. Like, I don't have any fitness goals right now. I was thinking about, well, I could run a marathon, or like, do I just get all swole, or... I don't know. The point is more that it's well-invested effort. As I get out, I run, I lift, I get in better shape and healthier. I may not have an exact goal in mind, but I do know that being healthy is something that I want. Having more energy, looking better, feeling better. These are vagaries that like, I don't have an exact idea of what it is I specifically want. However, I do know that in order to get there, I do need to exercise and I do need to eat a little bit better and I do need to get more sleep and I do need to get up in the morning, even if there's a surprise waiting for me. Have we talked about what happened this morning yet? I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna show this on camera, but I woke up to a horrifying mess in Cooper's kennel this morning. I smelled it earlier, like an hour ago. Get a dog, they said. He'll bring so much, so much joy into your life, they said. Okay. All right. Okay, oh, buddy. He looks so guilty. It's okay, buddy. These things happen. You guys should be okay. You don't feel very good, maybe. It's not the end of the world. Like, this stuff happens. It's just not really how you want to start your day. Anyway, in some areas of my life, I have very specific ideas of where I want to go, but those have changed a lot over time, as I've changed, as I've grown. My desires, my wants, the ways that I see the world have all shifted in different ways. And, well, like, storytelling is something that I absolutely love and want to continue to grow in. That ultimate goal of making movies, the science fiction fantasy stories that I spent so much time writing and publishing for a decade of my life, is that still where I ultimately want to go? Or isn't it? I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that stories are an integral element of who I am and how I want to pursue anything that I'm doing through my life. So this is a good way to continue honing that skill. And who knows where it takes us? Probably somewhere pretty fun. And if not, well, I'm entertaining a couple of you at least with, you know, my freezing hands and like, at least they're not covered in dog poop. I have that paranoia now. You know, you smell, you're like, did I get it all? Did I wash it all? I've washed my hands like 20 times. I need to finish my run and go have a protein shake and, and get my dog out and make sure he's still okay. He may not like me leaving, but he loves it when I come back all sweaty. Oh, fuck, fuck. I'm a scooter. Mmm. 
that helps. I think exercise is a really example to point out in the goal of having good health down the long run because you know that if you show up every day, you run every day, you work out every day in some form or another, however that looks for you. Like I like to run, uh, working out in the gym works for me as well, but there are a lot of sports that I enjoy playing. If you show up every day, you're just gonna attain a higher level of health and fitness than you would if you didn't do it. You're able to focus on a daily standard, on something that you can accomplish every day. It can be 15 minutes, 45 minutes, it could be a tripod that melts, maybe it needs to work out, I don't know. But by focusing on that and accomplishing that every day, that one little thing that you're able to get out of the way first thing in the morning or whenever it fits into your schedule, you know that you're getting closer to whatever goal you're after. And if you're not really sure what that specific long-term goal is, by showing up every day and putting in that effort, you're better prepared for when the opportunity does arise and whatever it is you want shows itself, you're more likely to be able to go out and grab it than if you were just sitting around waiting for something to happen. Don't sit around waiting for something to happen. Like, it is cold out here, let's go inside. Like, why are we sitting out here? Oh, don't forget the coffee. Thanks to today's patron producer, Aaron E. Carsey, and all my patrons for making this possible and for supporting me in ways both big and small and consistently over time. They're a really good example of small contributions adding up to something much larger over time and leading to some crazy good stuff, at least in my life. I'm really grateful. In conclusion, if you're struggling with a lack of purpose or sense of direction in your life, Welcome to the club. I think we all have been there. If most of us don't just spend our time there in general, I've been struggling with it a lot for the last few years. I've gone through some real highs, lows, ups and downs. And I feel like I'm coming to figure this out closer and closer. But something that's really helped me, especially in the arenas where I don't have a specific dream or goal in mind, has been to stop, take a step back and think big picture, what are the things that I know for sure that I want? Whether those are good, healthy relationships, good, healthy body, good, healthy business, good and healthy seem to be in there a lot. If that's the case, then what are the things that I can do now to improve myself as a person, to make sure that I am the kind of person that deserves those things in the future? What kind of books can I read? What kind of coaching can I seek out? What kind of advice? What kind of friendships? What can I do today that plants the seed for something greater tomorrow? Whether or not I know what that's gonna turn into or where it's gonna take me or where I even wanna go, there are little things that I can definitely be doing today. That's why I'm reading so much. That's why I'm getting to the gym three times a week and running four or five times a week. I've been running almost every day for a while. And the really cool thing is that even if I don't know where it's going to take me in the long run, I'm seeing real benefits in my life today, immediately, like within weeks, months of getting started on some of these things, you start to see results. So much like yesterday, or whenever, with the, whenever the heck we talked about, don't wait to start living. A big part of that is figure out one little thing you can do today to start moving towards a life that you might want in the future. And if you do know what it is that you want, excellent. Then start saying no to everything else and only do the things that are going to get you there. We can talk about that more some other time. Anyways, uh, see you bright and early tomorrow morning for another one of these.